Just Ron, how did it feel uh, watching that ball come down to you at the five yard line the other day, that 60 yard pass? Oh, it surprised me. I know. Um, it seemed like Deshaun was, uh, seemed like Deshaun got sacked or something because he was, he was scrambling for so long. And I, I, was, I almost thought I had it back, back to the line of scrimmage. And I looked up and I just seen the ball in the air and I just reacted to it. But it was a beautiful ball, though. What about your other TD catch in the corner of the end zone? That was a little bit harder for you to pull off, you know, mm -hmm. reaching over to your left, two hands up over your head. Yeah. How about that for Pat? I mean, once again, it was, a, it was a perfect ball. That's like the, about the only place he could have put it. He put it in exact, exact perfect spot. And I just, I just, we caught it. Were there nerves at all? Kind of feel, trying to fill Mike's shoes and kind of going through the process of getting a nice rapport with Deshaun mm -hmm. in the game. Any nerves early for you? No, it's not really any nerves. I've been playing football forever. I don't really get that much nervous. I don't really, I don't really see myself as filling his shoes. I'm just going out there being me. Sean, have you ever wondered? I mean, I don't know, two, three years ago, whether there'd be moments like this because of everything that you've gone through in order to get to this past week's game? Um, yeah, I mean, I guess I've been through a lot, but I guess I've been through, I feel like I've been through so much that eventually it's got to um, it's got to go my way someday. What do you see from Louisville? How are they going to attack and get on the outside? We'll probably, we'll probably see some man coverage, and I suspect that they got they got great athletes, so I don't see why not go man. So we'll probably see a lot of man. Maybe yeah, probably up, um, up more in our face than half like the state was. What well, the challenge of going on the road on five days rest? Is that something that uh, concerns you at all? Uh, not really me. I'm kind of used to it, but I feel like the young guys probably have to get used to it. I know it'll be a lot. Uh, their first road game, then the first road game is going to be within two or three days of preparation right after a game on Saturday. So that's probably going to be the difference. But these young guys are really mature. I think they'll be able to handle it. You mentioned on Saturday that you like road games, maybe with like playing for your wife. What is it about going on the road that you enjoy so much? I don't really like it more playing here, but it's um it's kind of fun being the being the enemy, and then it's kind of I like seeing the other fans' colors. And then you just look up in the corner and you see all the Clemson fans. It's really it's really fun to see that. Talk about that environment you're going to walk into on Thursday. We've asked this question of the other guys today and how they're going to prepare for it and how they're telling the underclassmen that haven't played in that environment what to expect. Um, probably probably a lot of crazy fans, and um, you can't really get involved with that and start talking to the fans, things like that. You just got to focus on the game because there's going to be a lot going on Thursday night, night games. It'll be a lot going on, but I think, I think they can handle it up. Talk about going against a team that's maybe a little more desperate than usual. Is their 0-2 and kind of preparing for some of that with, mm -hmm. with them trying kind of to avoid that 0-3 stuff. Yeah. yeah, I feel like they're definitely going to be putting everything they got into this game, and um, I feel like Louisville can easily be 2-0 right now instead of 0-2. It's a it's a really good team, so they definitely put everything they got into this, and we just got to prepare like we're supposed to. And, uh, we take care of the job. Is there one road game that stands out in your mind that you've been a part of or played in here that you remember that one more than any other? Um, I know that that Florida State game last year is still in my mind. I feel like we could have um, we could have definitely pulled that game off. The season would have been a lot different. What sticks out about that game? Was it the crowd, the atmosphere, or what was it? Um. It was just fun competing, honestly. But the the result, the result, kind of ended that fun. But it's just that's still that's like still on our mind a little bit. But um, that's a new year, and we're gonna have those same opportunities this year. We're just gonna uh, change the results this year. Is there a little bit of a different mentality playing an ACC game going on the road after having played Walford and Appalachian State, two teams that you were supposed to win by five points? A little bit different um, mentality. No, I think we I think we have to prepare the same and come into each game the same way. That's how you stay consistent. With Deion Kane, um, do you see any frustration from him as far as um, you know getting on the field, making plays? You know what it's like to be a young receiver and kind of waiting your team turn for that sort of thing. Do you use that experience to kind of keep him grounded? No, I don't see any frustration. I mean, he's a uh, he's a good young man. He's he's been handling everything good, and um, I stay on him and make sure he's. He's staying, he's staying well and um, 
he's humble too, so he's been handling well. He'll be fine. His opportunity will come.